a lot of head coaches when they first come in they they talk about setting the culture and changing the culture or what it, you know culture is kind of the buzzword um so so what 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 is the culture for you how, how do you set it how do you define it what, what were some of the things you felt like you needed to address as as culture yeah you're right culture is a word used all the time so i'm gonna try not to say it too much as i'm talking about it <laughs> i think it's just how your team operates and you know what you believe in and and what you're doing day to day and um, for us, it's, you know, being great, uh, something Sab Saban talks about, you know, life is short and you have, you know, you don't have unlimited time. So whatever you choose to do, go all in and be great at it. And that's probably the number one thing I think about every single day is that life is short and, you know, we have limited time and I don't, whatever I'm giving my time and energy to, um, I want it to be for the better. I want it to be, uh, for, for, you know, something that is my best. And I think that's what I talk with the team a lot about is you're choosing to do this. This is something that is special that not everyone gets, gets to do and let's be great at it. So being great at, at what we're doing, at what you choose to do, you choose to be a part of the team at the university of Alabama swim and dive. Let's be great. So being great at what we do and that's for everything. Um, and then we talk about celebrating competition. So for us, competing is, is you know, it's what we do every single day, compete. Uh, something growing up that, that my parents were both coaches and teachers. And when I was growing up, uh, my dad, he's a gym teacher. And so in gym class, uh, he would always, you know, be somewhat frustrated with athletes in, in middle school that didn't want to really like compete in gym class because they thought they were too cool or whatever. They didn't need to need to mm -hmm. try. And so at home, he, it would bother him. And, you know, uh, as an athlete myself, young, he would say, you know, Margo, like athletes compete no matter what they compete. Um, you know, you're, you're whatever arena that is, you know, you got to compete to be your best. And so that's something that stuck with me. And then competition is so crucial to what we do. And, and a lot of people, sometimes competition can be crippling and it can be scary and, and, um, you know, pressure packed and all those things, but it's like finding a way to make competition celebrated and to enjoy that and thrive in that. And that's a, that's the second thing I would say. And then elevating others is our third, you know, main pillar, uh, and, and elevating every single person. So when you come in a room, you know, how are you impacting others? Are you bringing them up? Uh, you know, are you bringing the energy to what you do or are you, um, you know, bringing that level down and, and being aware of that and, and trying to uh, elevate the best you can. Those are, those are the three things.